doing a review today on the Ultima ZT1. I have a 54 inch deck on this, cutting deck. I got this about a year ago, so uh, um, I've been, I use it about every week between the months of April and October. And uh, it's been a, a good mower so far. A couple of things, I'm just gonna give you some uh, things that I've done to it to make it, I guess, make it the way I wanted it that Cub Cadet didn't do, and that's fine. I mean, that's that's atypical me is I'll get a piece of equipment and then I'll, I'll uh, change it to make it more user-friendly in my opinion. Well, let's just go right off the bat. A couple of things right off the bat is I really like the way that they have this design to change oil. Right down in there, right here is your oil change. It goes right up into the block. All you got to do, loosen these nut on the edge, put a wrench on this, a wrench on that, and the oil comes out of it and put it back together and you're good to go. That's a huge, huge benefit when changing oil. So right away, this is a 54 inch deck. I put, I bought everything aside from, of course, a uh, snow pusher for it. I bought the bagger, I bought the, the uh, mulching kit, um, cause those are the few things that I figured that I would use the most. So right away when I got it, now I've, <clears throat> the seat going forward doesn't bother me a whole lot. I can deal with that. I don't need to put a little, mechanism on that but one of the things that always kind of ticked me off about a lot of these lawnmowers anymore is that when you get them they don't have a light switch for the lights the lights are always on why why it's daylight we don't need lights in the daytime so right down here i found this the light wiring comes underneath this thing. This is your fuel tank. This is where you fill it and this is your deck raise and lower. Well your your uh, light switch wiring goes underneath here and then down into your lights in the frame there. So it's real easy. Cut the wire, put a switch. On, off, on, off. Easy as pie. One of the things that in my way Kind of modified it to the way I like. There's no reason to have the lights on. Um, the other thing is, is that when you use the bagger, we'll just go over the bagger thing real quick, is that they give you bolts and screws to put through here, which is great. Padded, they protect your metal and everything, but they give you a nut for this. Now, we don't need no nut. We need a wing nut. So we can unscrew them and pull them off quickly and pull that off when we're not using the bagger. Now, I use it, just leave it on all the time. It's not a big deal for me out here, but when you use the bagger, which I'm gonna get right here, one of the other modifications that I've done to this thing for putting the bagger on is the bagger will go Basically, that right there hooks over that right there, of course. That's all good, works really well. But again, they put bolts on it. I ended up putting wing nuts so I can get it off and on in a hurry. And uh, it works really well. Again, simple. Don't have to tighten them down super tight and have it on the whole time. I realize a lot of people wouldn't mind just keeping it on there and forget the bags and then they can mulch or whatever. Not me, I'd rather have it off. Um, gives me a little more clearance here at the back. So that's another simple deal to get this on and off quickly. And uh, it works really well. The one thing I will say, about the bagger attachment is the bagger works fairly well. One of the things I'll, I will say about the bagger, which is pretty common with most baggers, when your grass is a little damp or a little wet, it usually ends up binding up here 
in the tube that goes up to the to the bagger unit you know that's kind of typical it's not a big big deal for me if the grass is is dry and it's you know it it bags just fine some of the other things that i've done to this would be on the chute i took a, a saw and i cut the chute off that chute sits out here about that far well it's too far for me i put enough chute there to where you don't get any crap coming up out of the mower and to me um that works well for me because i can get closer to the trees and bushes on this side and that's been that's been a, a huge plus modification also so just some simple things one of the things that i do like that cub cadet did with this is they put a bolt here in the middle of this plate you undo that bolt and they give you a tool right there on the mower you can unscrew that and you have access to the top of your deck to clean it that's a huge plus another thing i i like about this unit is that you push on the pedal you have a knob here and you can lower from from four and a half inches down to one inch and anywhere in between just by pressing the pedal setting the knob and then you let go and that sets your deck um, that is is a very nice convenient feature panel here you have your on off key your deck power your throttle you go all the way forward for your choke and then bring it back when you start it, it starts up pretty easy these have to be out when you start so th this machine came with a cooler 7000 series 24 horsepower motor seems to be a good motor i've had no problems with briggs and stratton in the past in fact i have a, a 2010 uh cub cadet riding mower that has a 24 horse briggs i've had that thing since well like i said 2010 i've had a bit of issues or problem with it i've always heard the coolers are good motors which so far they appear to be this thing also has the ability since i have since I bought, and I'm very particular about cleaning, I bought the Cub Cadet uh, mower jack that lifts and lowers it so you can get under it and clean your deck. So when you put that on here, this mower on each side has one of these. You pull them back, put them in the loops. So when it's in the loop, you can push it around without damaging your hydraulics. You also have one over here that you put in that same area. And then when you're ready to rock and roll, you let go of it and you're good to go. So far, it's been a great little mower. I've never had a zero turn before, but uh, I'll tell you what, I would recommend this mower to anybody. Um, I've had buddies that have the uh, other units and um, I've had them come and drive this and they say that this is a lot more um, responsive than what theirs are. And uh, so, like I said, so far, very good unit. I just did a few of those little modifications to uh, make it easier on me. I don't bag all the time. I usually use the bagger in the fall to pick up my, my tree leaves and then I put them in the garden. However, if the grass gets tall enough and we have a lot of rain like I did in the spring, I will use it to bag. And that was where I said the, uh, it uh, became complicated and the grass was too wet too heavy to get into that to that uh, bagger system with the tube nothing wrong with it in my opinion I think you just have to be aware that a lot of mowers are like that some of the things that I that I do is like the tube that goes from the deck up to the back is I use um, car wax in here and wax it up real good makes it slicker which I think would help also the tube same way uh, put a little uh, uh wax in that and uh and uh it helps with the wet grass so uh yeah i mean if you're looking for a zero turn i wouldn't uh 
I would not hesitate to buy an Ultima ZT1. I think they, well, I know they make smaller deck sizes, but for me, 54 inch was uh, a perfect match for uh, for my uh, for my place. Um, like I've said before, I mow about 50,000, 60,000 square feet with this. Um, I use my lawn tractor to mow uh, like around my electric fence for the horses out on the road. I try to keep uh, keep this specific for my quote unquote good yard. And uh, so yeah, mows good, mows nice and clean, straight in my opinion. Um, like I said, if you're interested in a zero turn, I would not hesitate to buy Cub Cadet ZT1 54 inch 